This is 7 National News and in our top story. The Dubai Foundation for Women and Children, along with the Dubai Police, have launched a five-year plan to protect women and children and also to promote efforts to combat human trafficking. The head of the Dubai Police Human Trafficking Crimes Monitoring Center, Lieutenant Colonel Dr. Sultan Al-Jamal, said that the plan is aimed at supporting and raising awareness of four groups. Victims, witnesses, the staff of authorities combating human trafficking, as well as the whole society. The plan also looks to make the victims ambassadors of the cause in their home countries, adding that a number of innovative programmes will be used for the first time in the plan, which also looks to expand its reach overseas. Sultan said that human trafficking is a cross-border and transnational crime that is carried out in a country of origin, a country of transit and a country of destination. The launch of the initiative named Protecting You Makes Us Happy coincides with World Day Against Human Trafficking, which is celebrated today, the 30th of July every year, to raise awareness for the promotion and protection of rights. The Orcaf and Miners Affairs Foundation has donated 400,000 dirhams to defaulters and repentant drug addicts as a part of its drive to improve social security and enhance the role of endowments in sustainable development. The humanitarian initiative has earmarked 300,000 dirhams to help release inmates convicted in financial cases, as well as those obligated to pay money from Dubai's punitive and correctional institutions. The remaining 100,000 dirhams will enable repentant drug addicts to go on Hajj. Omar Juma Kalender, the Deputy Director of the Endowment Development Department, said that they have always sought to boost the spirit of solidarity in society. And with the donation, they aim to encourage convicts to start a new life and make a positive contribution to the progress of their community and the nation as a whole. Lieutenant Colonel Dr. Juma Sultan al-Shamsi, the head of the Awareness and Precaution Department and the General Department of Anti-Narcotics at Dubai Police, added that AMAF, for the fifth consecutive year, has supported the Dubai Police Humanitarian Initiative that has helped rehabilitate convicted debtors and addicts and may has made it possible for them to become productive members of society. Dubai Municipality's Accreditation Department has launched a service to ensure the conformity of food to halal standards. According to local reports, the service will be added to the existing testing methods and the service in the laboratories will be a part of the services provided by the department, including accreditation, the granting of certificates and the inspection of halal food. Amina Ahmed Mohammed, the director of the accreditation department, said that the service will meet the growing needs of the market as the halal product sector is one of the fastest growing in the country. The Rosen Transport Authority has announced that its summer traffic awareness campaign will continue until the end of August. The Accidents Free Summer Campaign, which is coordinated with the Ministry of Interior, looks to educate motorists about road and weather conditions during summer and the importance of taking extra caution on the roads. Motorists are therefore reminded to make sure that their vehicles are fully maintained and that tyres are in good working condition. Hussein Albana, the executive director of, the tra of traffic at the RTA, was quoted saying that the campaign includes delivering awareness e-messages about the importance of maintaining vehicles to around one million individuals through screens in customer service centres, the RTA's social media network and also through driving institutes. E-messages will also be sent through email to employees of the Dubai government as well as the private sector. He added that the campaign also includes awareness messages on some bridges in Dubai, along with a short film highlighting the steps of checking and maintaining vehicles, as well as handing out brochures. Some of the information includes safety precautions surrounding tyres, vehicle electrical faults, steps on how to measure engine oil, brake faults, the correct way to jumpstart a battery, and how to detect an engine overheating. 
The Dubai Electricity and Water Authority has launched the Ideal Home Initiative to recognise households that achieve the highest standards of public health and safety, environmental protection and to raise awareness within their communities about best practices for an ideal home environment. The initiative will conclude in September and is in cooperation with the Dubai Police, the Municipality, the Health Authority, the Community Development Authority, the Dubai Smart Government, the Corporation for Ambulance Services and the General Directorate of Civil Defence. Committees will look at monthly electricity and water bills of different households. The efforts made to set up air conditioning units to 24 degrees Celsius, the use of solar energy in houses, the use of modern economical irrigation techniques, as well as water tank cleanliness. Homes that prove sustainable behaviour will be recognised under the new initiative. It was added that the first phase is confined to inhabitants of homes and areas that are yet to be confirmed, as long as the family has been living in the property for at least a year. The household head must also be registered with Dubai Smart Government's initiative, My ID, which makes it easier to link the data of all the participants. UA farmers showcased their finest harvests at the third edition of the Liwa Ajman Date Festival over the weekend, offering visitors and residents a unique opportunity to witness different types of dates, while also participate in various activities including competitions and lessons on creating local delicacies with date flavours. During the second day of the festival at the Emirates Hospitality Centre in Ajman on Thursday, Farmers across various emirates in the country showcase different types of dates, including a new exhibit of their new harvests. Organisers at the Ajman Tourism Development Department highlighted that unlike previous years, this year they have witnessed far better harvests, which shows that UA farmers are very serious about implementing the best techniques and standards in cultivating the date palm tree, while also aiming to produce high quality dates. As UAE dates are known as one of the finest in the region, event organisers are confident that this date festival will also help inspire a whole new generation of young farmers to learn the tricks of the trade and also take pride in the age-old tradition of date cultivation. On the sidelines of the festival, various competitions with cash prizes were organised for farmers who came up with the best fruit baskets. While residents and visitors watched traditional shows and folklore dances, including a live demonstration of culinary skills, the children were also entertained with different activities over at the kids' corner. What we saw is uh, this festival usually attracts older ages because they are more, more uh, related to the uh, cultural aspect of our life. We wanted the younger generation to contribute and participate in this festival. Once they enter uh, our festival, they can see one of the uh, main producers of dates uh, here in, in UAE, and they are uh, Fu'a and Liwa. So they can look at the final product and how it is served to the customer. And then when they move in uh, inside, uh, they can see uh, how the hotel can use the date in order to produce you know, a modern dish in terms of a starter, main dish, or a dessert. And at the end, they can see uh, the competitors, the farmers, uh, where, where uh, they compete between each other with the different kind of dates. So they will pass through the whole experience and the whole, let's say, production line of the date. And finally, looking to other news now, Dubai youngsters are in for a treat this August as one of the most popular children's comedic entertainers will be kicking off his show on the 7th of August over at Modesh World. The much-loved Magic Phil will be performing at Modesh World this summer and in the lead-up he made an appearance at the Dubai World Trade Centre and gave us a sneak peek of what's to come, including some hilarious jokes, mesmerising tricks, music and non-stop audience interaction, entertaining the whole family. The award winner has a whole host of unique shows up his sleeve, including a kid's magic pantomime, and has performed for a host of celebrities, VIPs, and even royals. Magic Phil is an extremely silly show. It's a, I'm a 
very silly character. My show is full of jokes. It's very, very interactive. There's always a chance for the children to get up on stage with me and perform in the show. And there's a lot of audience participation throughout the whole show. Lots of magic that goes wrong, lots of magic that goes right, lots of silly songs and loads more surprises just for Modest World. I think what sells Magic Phil different to any other magician here in the whole UAE is that my show is extremely um, interactive and no one knows what's going to happen next. Every show that you see of mine will be completely different because of the audience, because of where I am and just depends on what mood I'm in. And to be here at Modest World, I'm in an extremely happy mood. So you're in for a great treat. So come on down, do say hi. I'll be around and about after the show as well. I'm always up for a high five. Selfie might cost you, it depends what mood I'm in. But I'm happy to take selfies as well. There we go.